Hi, I'm Singh with you for another E3D tip. Do you miss the E3D 2.1 measure apps? It is less dependent on your hardware and its annotation is easier on the eye. Today, I will show you how we bring the E3D 2.1 measure application to 3.1. Please note that not all applications can be brought to 3.1. For this case, it is possible as the PMLs are still in the 3.1 PML lib. Let's start by getting into 2.1. I use the UI customization tool to check the PML used for measure. I will go into tabs and look for the measure button which is in the home tabs. From the measure category, I can navigate below the button to find the button and what command is being used to activate the measure. The command that is used is actually a Aviva command and it's not really a macro. So let's try to find what this command is. From this command, we should be looking at the PML CMD extension file. The first place to look for this file is the PML lib directory. Let's search for PML CMD. Quite a lot of them. Perhaps we can narrow the search with measure in the file name. Seems like the first file is what we are looking for. Let's. For those who are not familiar with the PML CMD, you can check our discussion on it. From the execute method, we can see the macro that is called to activate the measure command. I'm now in 3.1 I've set up and used the 2.1 measure command in 3.1. The PML files were there. Let me just show you the UI settings and you can see that I've set the three buttons for the measure command as using macros instead of commands. We hope you enjoyed this tip and see you again soon. Bye.